Sounds great and it looks good on him. He's making the most of it as he tucks in behind McSween. And as the pace setter steps off the track, 152, a very swift first half mile of this Bowerman mile to conclude the 46th edition of the Nike Prefontaine Classic. McSwain looks around and goes, oh no, the Olympic champion's on my heels. It's Ingebrigtsen in second and then all the way back to the rest of the field that includes there in the front, Timothy Chariot. But they're now perhaps racing for third as a good battle coming up. McSwain looks over his outside shoulder and Ingebrigtsen looking very confident, lurking behind him by half stride with about left to go. This has got to be a swing in confidence for him. He's showing that this win over Chariot's not a fluke. You can tell Chariot might not be at his best. He has that forward lean that's been giving him tugs on his hamstrings and glutes. And this is where Jacob puts it away. He says, it's the changing of the guard. You've had this title for so long, and I'm ready to take over. I am the future. And today he's being the present of the 1500 meters, the mile here in Hayward. The wave light on the track is actually tracking for a 350 mile, and they are blowing that away as they both find an extra gear. But it is Jakob Ingebrigtsen, now 20 years old, buoyed by an Olympic title, is going to try to hold off Nick Swain. The fastest time ever on U.S. Soils 347. But it is a new meet record for the youngster. And we can kill, still call him youngster at 20 years of age. Jakob Ingebrigtsen takes the win. What a performance by him. 347 3. And then, of course, the subplot. He's now the fastest Ingebrigtsen in history. <laughs> Absolutely. Changing of the guard all around. And it's not surprising to see him come here and put on a show. He was so focused. Uh, we didn't see him last night at the festivities. He was had his head laid pretty low at the press conference. He was here to perform, and he delivered on that. His dad, father coach, Gert Ingebrigtsen.